How's it going guys? What's up and what's happening there today? You blessed and beautiful souls. Kiara and Cassia today with the Crypto Bliss Show. <sighs> Sorry, I had a little hair on the camera there. Hope you can now see me. I see you, you see me and I'm seeing you. Thank you for being here today, you blessed and wonderful souls. And uh, thank you to all my beautiful subscribers, guys. I don't know if you guys are seeing, of course you are, but I'm getting these crazy videos out for you guys. Um, I don't have, I'll show you now, but uh, I have quite a number of, in fact, I won't show you. I have quite a number of videos coming out for you. The rest of the strong, so make sure to hit that notification bell so that you know which videos I'm talking about, guys, because those videos are going to absolutely blow your mind out the water, just like these have already. And um, yeah, so basically, the crypto cap is, yes, it might be pulling back a little bit. It's okay. It doesn't matter that it pulls back a little bit. The point is that you're getting decent entries into the market now and um, yeah hopefully we see what happens now because in the next 12 minutes we have um, the American market opening and that will obviously give us a lot of volatility because we're expecting to see the um, we're expecting to see the S&P uh, price index whether it's at 2.5 and then we've also got um, consumer confidence and the new home sales and all of those things will make the market move so be prepared for whatever it does up or down so guys in this video here i did a uh, i did something saying the truth about ethereum flipping bitcoin go watch that video you guys are going to want to see it it is incredible very very extraordinarily valuable information so um we shall see what that that does for us but at the end of the day um I, they will both come in and out of flipping one another that's for sure and uh yeah we'll just have to see that as we go along in this video here i just did a very quick emergency post video and uh, that was basically a video of me um i was actually sitting in in my vehicle last night oh no i wasn't sorry that was when i was leaving the office um and basically bitcoin and ethereum had broken so yeah very 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 valuable information in this video guys go and check it out because i'll show you the charts now and then interesting that i put these two next to each other because they just broke their line but actually btc and ethereum um, but i'm speaking about btc in this video is going to go intergalactical literally it is going to go beyond the moon and that's why in this um, thumbnail i put the moon way down there with the rocket shooting past with bitcoin as the rocket and then here's jupiter up in the corner so we're even cruising past jupiter so <laughs> make sure you ensure you're gonna get into bitcoin guys because bitcoin from where it is today is definitely 10xing minimum by 100x to maybe even a five six hundred x is where we will see it in the future so make sure you go and check out those videos guys if you want to trade these coin this these markets with me please make sure to hit my buy button link down below and get yourself a thirty thousand dollar deposit bonus and let's get on to the next things uh, on the channel so let's not waste any more time here guys i absolutely love being here with you guys so let's make the day and the evening count and let's go rock this energy out for the rest of the day so quickly just a very quick overview of the market so uh, we're sitting at in fact let me refresh because i have been away i try to do this video at about 11 o'clock this morning and it is now half past three um sorry guys you know it's quite difficult here in south africa with the you know we've got generators and all of that but um Often when the generator, when the electricity kicks off and the gen and it's called load shedding, the generator and then ge generators kick on, then it switches the internet on and off, and then we get screens like you just saw there. So um, not my fault, but I certainly do apologize for the interruption. At least I have the ability to pause the video and continue when it comes back on. So that's exactly what I've just done. We're sitting at a 1.2 trillion dollar market cap with 49 billion in, in trading volume. And today we are seeing Bitcoin at 27,407, Ethereum at 1827, uh, BNB at 330, XRP at 45, Cardano at 38, Dogecoin at 7.8. So there's not much difference from yesterday, nine, nine, Polygon at 96 cents, uh, Solana at 2107, Polkadot at 
587 guys i will do a video for you in the next day or two but polka dot is looking really rather ridiculously delicious for a long very soon well at least i hope it's a long um it looks like a long is is being set up at the moment so litecoin 89.59 shiba 1024 avalanche 17.11 to let you guys know i bought in a little bit more at 16.40 so i, I put a little i bought an extra i think it was three avalanche it's been 60 dollars not a lot um but yeah guys i put in whatever i can to whichever coin i can whether it's ten dollars or a thousand dollars i'm just taking the money and putting it into these coins and i'm dollar cost averaging and buying them at these lows because one day these coins will easily be 10x okay so yeah thanks for thanks for that uniswap at 532 and chain link at 709 guys chain link is going to be breaking soon the crypto bubbles today are as you can see crazy so this is refreshed don't worry about this little no internet um injective is pumping again Chili's is pumping, Casper's pumping, and OKB's pumping, but all of the other ones are in the red, guys. So in the red is a good time to buy. So I've actually gotten into three trades now, and um, I will tell you what those trades are. I am in a Bitcoin long trade. Um, I think Bitcoin's a little oversold on the lower time frames, and it needs some sort of wick or retracement back to previous uh, resistance levels. And then the fear and greed index is sitting at 53 today, guys. Not much. Well, no change from yesterday so um yeah let's let's see what happens uh with this while we're on the video but let's go and start off with the dixie as always the dixie 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 the dixie the fucking dixie ridiculous dixie manipulation because look at this now we've got a buy candle signaling we've had the rsi breakout this is all on the four hour Guys, I don't think it's going to get anywhere. And I'm going to actually just draw this line even further and I'll even pop it up a bit. I don't think the Dixie is going to get above this level. I'm just being brutally honest. I don't care. You can tell me. Uh, although the one thing that I, I said to you guys that I am seeing is a, is a head and shoulders pattern forming here on the four hour, which is quite scary because if that is the case, then that will take us out to the top of that descending line again, which is not a bad area, which is kind of in alignment with the green zone and this area here so could happen but uh i'll i'll leave that out of the story for now because the dollar is essentially on its way down and essentially we should see this roll over um from this level so it should come up maybe try and it's going to try and maybe a little bit of a fake out and then a breakdown so if it does that that would be great um that's obviously how we all want to see this this uh, so if the dollar comes down then it's great for risk on assets but if it goes up then it's it's terrible for risk on assets okay let's go and see btc dominance very very quickly and uh yeah so bitcoin dominance let's go right to the daily time frame boom 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 is now busy turning around um which is not healthy for altcoins and as you can see the rsi is looking like it wants to break out so I see the level perhaps coming back up to about this 47, 48 level, somewhere around here, this zone. And uh, yeah, I, I would say maybe about here, yeah, even 48, 13, somewhere around there before making a new lower high. Now that would be detrimental for uh, for other altcoins. So if it, if it failed and it pushed down here, and as I shared with you guys yesterday, there's a bit of a bear flag forming in this zone. Here's my target, which is down here. So. I honestly think it's going to come down, but um, it, with the RSI being here, look at what it does. I mean, the RSI goes two candles and then a pump. So, you know, we might, we seeing this, this is looking like it wants to go up again. So that's very interesting. And then, of course, the total crypto cap. So the total crypto cap today is, let's go and see where we are. Total crypto cap today. It seems as though we're slowing down on the total crypto cap, which is great. Um, which gives us strength at the support zone. But if we close this candle underneath this purple box, it's not healthy, guys. I'm going to say to you then that we'll probably pull back down to this zone over here, which would probably be between 964 and um, kind of that is the zone. But if we do happen to bounce off of here, guys, I'm telling you something right now. That would mean Bitcoin dominance goes down, altcoin dominance can go up, okay? 
and uh, essentially that will push a lot more liquidity into the total crypto cap which will bring this probably up to this zone again at the level so it's another two uh, maybe three three hundred million into the space again uh, it's not that much but uh, well it is for a person but it's not that much for the entire space if you look at it okay so let's get onto bitcoin chart for the moment because bitcoin and i'm going to show you this these lower time frames first because these lower time frames as you guys can see so i did a video i did two videos i did that video um on the channel yesterday this one um i did that right at this point over here and essentially we pulled straight back up and then we oh sorry i did it here yeah that was yesterday yeah so i did it here for you guys and essentially i saw this breaking down it broke a new lower low so it's making lower lows guys and i'm just going to be straight up with you on the lower time frame so it's making lower lows okay which is telling me that there is a lot of resistance here even though i'm in a long i am accumulating my long position so every time we come back down i'm buying a little bit more okay into i'm adding a little bit more into my position now you can see here i normally say that when we hit this level the 50 level okay now here's one beautiful and perfect example i showed you this on one of my videos the other day we don't normally only come down to the 50 level but look at what happens when we do come down to the 50 level it's showing a strong level of support and we just smash through and look at that rally that we had up there before we even had any sell signal on the rsi guys so it was very strong so for me it's coming down here and we could essentially see this bounce off this area and we could probably come and retest um 28,700 may i mean there's a lot of resistance at that area downward sloping and horizontal resistance but maybe we could probably reach this 29,400 level um, which would kind of be up to this purple box here at the absolute maximum so guys there, there is a lot of energy coming up into the space and i hope you guys are getting ready to trade it and um yeah just a very very quick scenario on the s p and the nasdaq because i know i do these videos for you all the time so wow there you go officially on the on the s p now on the four hour we've actually got a sell signal on my candles and look what happens sell signals it comes down guys so this is the next level of support and i'm going to actually just draw it in for you guys so that you guys can see very clearly where we could be heading down to on the s p okay so that is the level and isn't that kind of coincidentally um the same level as this zone so yeah guys it's very very interesting but if we happen to break this upward level guys woof s p is going down so yeah same thing with the same thing here we've had a sell signal three days ago so but we are oversold on the rsi so if we break this zone we're coming down here for sure if we don't break the zone and we get this strong um rsi bounce then it will come and probably hit around my target like i said to you guys so guys if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the subscribe button Thank you for liking and I appreciate you guys and we'll see you on the next one, you beautiful blessed souls.